Hi, my name is Ali, a technical marketing engineer with Cisco Systems for Wireless Network Group. Today, I'm going to demonstrate profiling and policy on a wireless LAN controller. We have a controller running 7.5 code, and what we're going to do, we're going to enable profiling on a single SSID on a WLAN. We will create policy for Android and iPad devices, plus we're going to map that policy to separate VLAN. That is, once the client coming in and join that network, they will be redirected to that particular VLAN. Now we're going to profile. I'll implement policy on the controller. First, we're going to check what interfaces we have. Here we have four interfaces. Management interface is tied to VLAN 40, and we create two dynamic interfaces, Apple and Android which are tied to VLAN 20 and 30 respectively. Now go to WLAN. We have a single SSID on which we're going to tie this policy. Before we do that, go to Advanced, enable DHCP address assignment. We have two kinds of profiling, radius profiling and local profiling. As we did profiling locally on a controller, we'll enable local profiling, DHCP and HTTP, and hit Apply. We can see the single SSID is tied to the VLAN management, which in our case is VLAN 40. Now to apply policy, we need to configure local policy classification. We'll hit on new, we create a policy name, we'll name it iPad. We'll also create another policy and we'll name it Android. Once the policy is created, now we're going to configure it. So under policy we have match criteria and action. When a device comes in, it matches that criteria, what action we need to take. Action consists of ACL, VLAN ID, QS policy, session timeout. And for this demo, we're going to use VLAN ID to VLAN 20. Before we do that, add iPad and we'll apply the VLAN ID. So any Apple iPad coming in, we redirect it to VLAN 20. We go back and we we'll do the same for the Android device. We can see the device is added. The action is going to take. We redirect it to VLAN 30. Once we have created the policy, we apply it on a WLAN. We'll also do that for the Android device. We can see that we have two policies on a single WLAN. So the device like Android on Apple iPad coming in will be implemented and will route a particular VLAN. So now when you connect to the device and we'll see how the policy takes place. So as the Apple device joins the network and its profile is an Apple iPad. To check the policy has been implemented correctly, we go to the client detail and we clearly see that the iPad once profiled is redirected to VLAN 20, which we create for Apple devices. We'll do a similar test for Android device, see how the policy been implemented. Once the Android device joins the network, it's registered as for Android device. And on client detail, we clearly see that the device has been redirected to VLAN 30 on the Android interface we created. And it's on the same single SSID as corporate employee.